Hey guys, uh, I'm making a start on phase two of the uh, brake project. It's uh, going to be very much done on the fly. Uh, I'm not sure quite what's going to work best, but what I'm starting off doing, which I'll switch to in the, on the drill press soon, I've got a piece of uh, it's two by two by quarter angle. I happen to have some pieces, you know what, as anybody who knows my stuff, I use what I got. Um, I've got a smaller piece than this, but this just happens to be handy for demo. So here are the two bolts that I'm going to use for fixing. Now there's two options here really. We can have, this is too big, it won't fit in. It's in the way of this gear. If the caliper is in the top position and the mountings are about this level and probably have to be a piece of plate, um, sorry, a piece of bar going across, that means then with rotation this way we will have what you might call push braking or if we turn this the other way up and have it like that then we can have the caliper unit down the bottom which is a bit awkward here, I need another spare hand I can have the caliper somewhere down the bottom um, these are my mounting bolts and then the braking would be pull it's going to be going that way so either way I think will will work um, so I'm going to see how it works out once I've made the piece of angle. Well here's a piece of angle I'm using. It's only uh, about an inch and... No, it is just two inches that way. It's actually two inches all round. Quarter inch thick. Uh, I've marked up centres here for the 5 16th bolts that I'm going to use. And... I'm going to uh, centre drill and then get uh, clearance holes so I won't waste your time on this uh, stage, I'll just show you the finishing bit. I'll just finish uh, number two hole here. So that's all we've got, uh, just a couple of clearance holes for 5 16 bolts and uh, we'll try that on the, uh, the bolt positions in a minute and see what's going to work. I've got, the light, I've got the light in a weird position, I have to try and not get my hand in the way. There's the uh, angle just with the bolts done up loosely. Uh, I mentioned too that I've got to make allowance for adjustment so the forward bolt here will, the, instead of a hole, will have to have slight slot. At the moment there's a little bit of movement but that needs to be slightly more to give me allowance for that. But anyway, let's just put this piece of half inch it's not what I'm going to use but if this is mounted to the bracket it could line up fairly well with these two mounting holes which is sort of almost level it would of course go the other side if I take the caliber off very awkward because I'm going to get in the way of the camera every time I think. If that goes at the back of the back of the angle and then mounting options it's slightly short but mounting options at these sort of points and again there will have to be adjustment on this for left and right. 
so that, that would be pushing and now if I swap the angle round now again this is going to be awkward with my hand because it's affecting the camera exposure so now if we had the caliper around this sort of location so that these are level for convenience and then again we can have a piece of section on here but that would need a slight extra to cope with the mounting so and that this would be a pull of course it'd be working in that direction and uh, pulling on braking uh, I've got some other section material which may work better so I'm not really sure and of course it's very tempting whoops uh, it's very tempting to weld this onto the angle uh, but that's a bit permanent it doesn't give me much adjustment so I've got to give some thought to that so I've got again a bit of general movement on a one hole so I can adjust it and the uh, the height works out about right but as I said earlier it's suck it and see see what will work try this try that see how we go it's not going to be pretty function is the name of the game further thoughts um, for several reasons I think I'm going to go for the um, the push direction I don't want anything too thick for the mounting on the caliper the half inch square would be too thick uh, but I want something wide enough here so that I can have two mounting points and small slots to allow me for lateral adjustment for the fine tuning um, this is a piece of three quarter by half and here we've got a piece of slightly corroded one end a piece of three sixteenths by half so what I'm thinking at the moment is we'll cut cut a piece of the uh, thinner section and weld it to the far side of this block we'll call it and that will then only project about um, only project about three and a half four inches so the main rigidity the main rigidity will be at the mounting and this material will only be under compression just basically being pushed all right so that's further stage of thinking we'll start taking it a bit further when I next get to it next step here is to uh, weld something together uh, this uh, half inch square which I was using for demo purposes before it's nice and strong obviously but I'd have to have longer bolts on the caliper but second to that the uh, width here is not really as much as I want for bolting down onto the angle so as I think I showed in the last clip uh, I'm going to use this piece of three quarter half on the uh, angle and the best I can find to go to the caliper is this half by three six um, here's half by three sixteen pretty sure I did measure it before just to check um, I'd like to have found some half by yeah half by quarter would have been nice but the main loading on this is both this way under compression but also because the caliper is going to be a little bit higher there will be a certain amount of down force that's not really a problem because the strength of this is in the half inch the uh, 3 sixteenths direction for bending is not really going to feature so we're going to try this anyway 
and uh, weld this onto the uh, three quarter. So I'm going to prepare this, get some uh, edge chamfers, top and bottom, and then we'll try and weld it up if my back will allow it. <laughs> the weld will probably be very functional. I'm uh, somewhat disadvantaged with the old back at the moment, even standing, but when it comes to welding, that plus an unsteady hand doesn't always help. So we'll get this prepped and then we'll see if we can get a suitable weld together. Well, I'm try and get this uh, welded up. Got a nominal 30 degree grind on each piece, top and bottom. Uh, I'm going to try, I use my smallest 2.5mm rod, we'll run that at 90 amp and uh, see how it goes. It's a pretty small gap to fill and I'm going to just preheat this larger piece, get a flame on that and just get a bit of heat in it before I weld because there's a big difference obviously in uh, mass. So we'll take a first pass, see how we get on and then flip it over. Well I missed one or two spots here. I resorted to using a stool which helps for the old back but uh, I'll tell you what old age <laughs> and not steady hands is not good for a nice straight weld line. Yeah I've got one or two slight misses at the edge but this side is going to be going down against the angle so I had to grind off the surplus and file that just to get it all dressed up. These two little marks, I don't know, they're slight blemishes on the uh, larger piece. So I'm going to set up and try and do the other side slightly more tidily. Let me see how we get on with that. Oh, by the way, the <laughs> more Harbour Freight. Uh, they had a coupon for this welding table. Although I actually have one, it's so covered in stuff, including a bench grinder and so on, this at least I can move around and uh, it's quite adequate. Actually easier to use than the uh, old one, even if I cleared it. All right, let's get ready to do the other side. I'll just turn the uh, current down a notch. See if it'll enable me to go a little bit slower, but I'm not sure whether it will. Just do a test on the uh... That's alright. I think it'll work. The only thing is I'll just uh, preheat preheat this piece again. It's uh, got cold. See if that helps just a little bit. See how we go. doing there at all. Let's clean that up. I'm making a pair of holes now for the uh, caliper these uh, these mounting holes they're two inches apart so I'm making I've just sent a drill to uh, into the half by three sixteenths and 
Just going to put slightly oversized holes in that. those done and I will try a fitting and see where we go from there. So I've got the caliper fitted to its uh, little piece of bar and as it happens we're getting very close to what should work. This uh, has a relief cut out of it now because of this gear. Now when this bar goes on to the angle it leaves there's a slight movement on the angle too, it's not turned down up yet just that little bit of float to play with and then the slight adjustment this way will be taken care of by uh, we've got to put two holes in the bar here and to probably tap that probably use bolts long enough to uh, be able to put nuts on for final security. So there we are, that looks as though it's working out. Alright. Actually a heck of a fiddle, putting it mildly. This is probably the worst stage, I almost look forward to making up the cable. So we're going to make some holes in the uh, in that bar and the angle and then we'll come back and uh, try and put it all together finally. Just get the second clearance hole done. I'm going to use uh, these are M8 by uh, 1.25 they're nice uh, hex cap screws. So I'll just finish this hole off and uh, mark up the angle. That's that one done, and uh, <coughs> that should take the uh, cap screws nicely with uh, with just a little bit of slack, so I get a tiny bit of adjustment. I may have to slightly slot this one. I'm not sure yet. We're going to see how it works out. And I'm just going to mark up the angle. I'll just transfer from the uh, clearance holes here. Just make sure that doesn't move too much. It's not a very good clamp actually. got to burn it I think. Let's check and see if we got yep we got we got centers popped so we'll get that uh, set up for drilling and then we'll tap it for the uh, M8. Tapping drill should be uh, 6.8 but I haven't got decimal metrics so the closest is an I drill, a letter I drill. It's only a few thou larger, so we should be alright. And anyway, I think I'm probably going to finish off with nylocks underneath when everything's set up. Let's drill these two.
to ease the pressure off before breakthrough, which I didn't do on that first one. Okay, we'll get these tapped. Nearly finished tapping the uh, second of these. So we should be good to go, hopefully with the, uh, just a little burr on here. I didn't give a starting chamfer, that's why it burred a little bit. Oops, the light's in all the wrong place isn't it? It's a bit of a burr at the bottom too. Anyway, that's good. We'll clean that up and then we'll put things on the lathe and see where we are. Well guys, having got going on this, like with most things, I got some momentum and I just kept at it. Um, well, there we are. It's crude. Not to mention, yet again, my awful welds on here. <laughs> I may play safe, actually, and put a couple of Put a couple of small bolts in across the back there just to increase strength. Actually, I, the weld should be plenty strong enough. It's just not very clean. I'm not proud of it. Anyway, with lots of measurements and dummying up, we've worked out now that the uh, we haven't had to make any adjustment. I was reckoning possibly to use either shims here or even shims here but by being careful with measurement and also probably some element of luck uh, we seem to be all right I don't intend to use braking very fiercely and because things are working in reverse via the pulley belt uh, there's a slight sound from one of the gears on the lay shaft but basically it it functions I've got the the uh, static pad all but touching. Let's just give her a whirl. There we go. That's enough braking. If I put the brake on hard it stresses things unnecessarily but that does give quite a reasonable speed up of braking. So in essence it works. Uh, a very very fiddly operation to do I must admit. Uh, on the fly suck it and see, see if it'll work, try this, try that. Uh, but at least we've got some functional success. The next step is to make a cable operation to go from the uh, the caliper has a cable outer inlet and the uh, cam operating arm has a clamp for cable so I should play with the cable kit soon and see if we can get that organized possibly put a brake lever somewhere convenient I don't think I'll bother with a foot pedal at least not now anyway so Thanks for watching yet again. We've got uh, phase two complete and I'll hope to have phase three and final before too long. Bye for now.